Is he on the way? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's almost here. Okay. Oh, he's almost here. We'll wait a minute. I've been so thirsty today. I don't know what to do. How have you been? I've been great. Good. Good. Well, I'm in the head. I got out. You know, Saturday was just like some of the best fishing weather. I mean, it was yeah. but they were killing them. No pressure. No pressure. Did you go fishing? I went to the north. Yeah, I went to the north. They had big fish chasing little fish, chasing little, little fish, and they were standing on each other, and they were all within 15 feet of the surface. We get out. My grandson and I go get the boat off. It's running fine. We're trolling. And all of a sudden, it just taunts. So then the fire it up, it runs for three seconds, and it goes on. So finally, I have to get towed back in after we, we got out and we figured it out. My, my grandson, the closest he could get, was about 10 minutes worth of fishing. Oh, no. <laughs> that, that, sounds was like, after, that sounds like my fishing trip. That was after spending the, like, 50 bucks on gas. And, and it sounds like you got bad gas. We had, we had. Hello. <laughs> I bought one of those a couple of weeks ago. My daughter was here. Fifty dollars. Like, I forget what they charge. It's pretty expensive. Now. But uh, I didn't buy one. I don't go fishing. I went fishing for a whole day and didn't catch a thing. Way lower than that. It's not. Too low. Way lower than that. Not that big. Whether they're still We're waiting on Jason, it's supposed to be 125 or something to 950. We'll hurry. And the brewer from 12 <laughs> Then we won't to wait 90. on it. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> I held it up for you. Security. <laughs> yeah, I would be too. They're normally higher now on everything than we are. They're normally higher on everything than we are. I said it says all in those two. And I kept saying it's 7 o'clock the game starts. No, the game starts is relative. I know. <laughs> Would you call the road, please? Present. Here. 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 Would you please stand and join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Item two is a consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular city council meeting held April 7, 2014. Item B is receive the minutes of the regular park board meeting held March 4, 2014. Item C is declare certain police vehicles a surplus. Item D is approve ratify claims and expenditures for FY 2013-2014 in the amount of $3,555,000. $336.45. Move to approve. All right, thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion? Mayor, just to note uh, on item C there, they're all listed by serial number and year model and all that in the agenda packet, the backup information. We just didn't, there was so many of them, we just didn't include them all in the <coughs> language of the agenda item there. Okay. That's on page 17 of your packets. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Yes. 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 Item carries. Item number three is consider approval of new job descriptions and their placements in the non union pay table for HUD funded positions for the assistant planners grant in pay range 58, administrative assistant CDBG in pay range 47 and accountant two in pay range 64. Mayor Council, uh, we've been uh, looking at these positions uh, for some time now, uh, ever since we were made, uh, were notified that we were receiving these HUD grant funds for disaster recovery. 
Uh, the three positions you see here would be full-time um, for the disaster recovery program and the salaries would be reimbursable from the program. If you have any questions, I'd be happy to answer them. Are these going to be temporary jobs? Well, they are not uh, being hired on as temporary workers. Uh, the HUD program is uh, we have to have the money spent within five years or 2019. And then we'll have a period of monitoring for compliance, uh, which could be another three to five years. Uh, the thought is, is that in 10 years, through attrition or just growth within the city, we could absorb these positions elsewhere in the, in the organization. All right, thank you. Sorry. Thank you. Any other discussion on these items? If not, would you call for the vote, please? Yes. 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 Yes, item carries. Item number four is consider awarding bid number 1314-010, purchase of one or more CNG high compaction 32 cubic yard automated side loader packer bodies to Rush Truck Center in the amount of $147,450. Uh, <coughs> Mayor Council, uh, for uh, sealed bids, we see those back. Uh, Rush Truck Center is the uh, low and best bidder at 147450 uh, Staff recommends approval of uh, that uh, bid. Are we getting one or? <coughs> yes. Just one? Mm -hmm. I haven't put in the budget. Okay. Well, it just said here one or more. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah, it's just a minute print. <coughs> Miss print. Okay. Just be curious, is it replacing or is it uh, It'll be replacing. How long are these trucks lasting? Well, they've been lasting us about seven to eight years. Uh, the life expectancy <coughs> in the business is probably between five and seven. So we've been getting quite a bit of use out of it. Make a motion to approve. Second. All right, thank you both. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Uh, Sarah? Yes. David Roberts? Yes. Mark Yes. Carlos Yes. 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 Yes, item carries. Thank you. Thanks, sir. Item five is consider awarding bid number 1314-006 Little River Park Playground to Playwell and Playworld in the amount of $74,999.49. Thank you, Mayor. Mayor and Council, this is the last playground that we have to replace that was destroyed by the May 20th tornado. Uh, we had nine playground manufacturers submit proposals. We had, as we've done in the past, a committee of Parks Board members and city staff review the proposals. Uh, the committee's recommendation is that the best proposal was submitted by Playwell. Um, and going along with our strategy, uh, we're theming our playgrounds as we replace them. This will be a pirate ship themed playground, as you see in the renderings there. Um, and the last thing is this will be a community built playground that, that uh, um, the community will help build. The time frame that, that this will happen will be about mid-July, take two or three days to, to install it. So by mid-July, we should have a playground uh, at Little River. So. Um, and, and the funds for this will come through insurance will be reimbursed through our insurance uh, because of the tornado so with that I'll be happy to take any questions you might have how many people you need for the community build out <clears throat> as many as we can get if we have 50 to 200 people we can build it all in about a day there'll be some preliminary work that we do as far as cement and pad and all that stuff but uh, we we think we can build it in a day or two so okay. you guys never been on one it's really fun yeah, it, it'll be a really neat, neat project. So it'll be hot, but it should be dry, so we should be able to. I know a lot of teachers that'll help out with that. So when it comes time, yeah, yeah, so be great. What, what, what days are we going to build? What days are we? We're looking at the week of July 14th through the 19th. We'll narrow that down as we get closer when we uh, have the material shipped to us. So okay. that's the week that we're looking at. We're targeting. All right, about. sounds great. I'll make a motion to approve. Okay, thank you. Second. Thank you. Any other discussion on this item? The park's starting to look really, really nice out there. By the way. Yeah. David Roberts? Thank you. Mark Ham? Yes. Robert Crown? Yes. Yes. Scott Singer? Yes. Glenn Lewis? Yes, item carries. Item number six is to consider adoption of resolution number 79514, adopting the schedule of fees and charges by amending the occupation tax related to alcoholic beverages 
uh, for brewer and distiller, effective upon approval and remaining in effect until modified, amended, or repealed, and repealing prior inconsistent fees. Do we have a motion? This is what we talked about last meeting. Make a motion to approve. All right. Thank you. Certainly. Thank you. Any other discussion on this item? So, if not, would you call the vote? Yes. Robert Brown? Yes. 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 Item carries. At this time, we'll recess the city council meeting and convene the more public works authority meeting. Item number seven is the consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular more public works authority meeting held April seventh, two thousand fourteen. Item B is approve and ratify claims, claims, excuse me, claims and expenditures for FY two thousand thirteen and two thousand fourteen in the amount of six hundred two thousand four hundred forty two dollars fifty seven cents. Moved to approve. All right. Thank you. Second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Any other discussion on this item? Would you call for the vote, please? Robert Yes. Jason Blair? Yes. Scott Yes. David Roberts? Yes. Mark Yes. Yes, item carries. At this time, we'll recess the Moore Public Works Authority meeting and convene the Moore Risk Management meeting. <clears throat> item number eight is the consent docket. Item A is receive and approve the minutes of the regular Moore Risk Management meeting held April 7, 2014. Item B is approve payment of a quarter workers' compensation compromise settlement to Michael Dork in the amount of $30,378.15 for claim number WC2013-04514-R. dash Authorized placement on the property tax roll and supplement the budget accordingly. Item C, approved payment of a court approved workers, workers <coughs> compensation compromise settlement to Michael Doriak in the amount of $10,575 for claim number WC2013-05428-L and authorized placement on the property tax rolls. Item D, approve and ratify claims and expenditures for FY2013-2014 in the amount of $131,181.53. Moved to approve. All right, thank you. Second. Thank you. <clears throat> Any other discussion? If not, would you call for <coughs> Yes. 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 David Roberts? Yes. Mark Yes. Robert Brown? Yes. 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 Items carried. At this time, we'll recess the Moore Risk Management meeting and convene the Moore Economic Development Authority meeting. Uh, would you call the roll, please? Robert Brown? Present. Jason Blair? Here. Scott Singer? Here. Here. David Roberts? Here. Mark Here. <coughs> Okay, item 10, the consent docket. Item A is to receive and approve the minutes of the regular Board <coughs> Economic Development Authority meeting until March 17, 2014. Move to approve. Second. Would you call the roll, please? Robert Krauss? Yes. Jason Yes. Scott Singer? Yes. Lynn Willis? Yes. Mark Hans? Yes. Yes. This time we will recess the more economic development authority meeting and reconvene the city council meeting. All right. Thank you. Let the record reflect that all the members that were present before are still present. Item number 11 is new business. Item A is citizens forum for items not on the agenda. We have no one signed up. Would anyone like to speak? Item B is items from the city council or trustees. Maybe you want to, can somebody just kind of give us a brief update on uh, the uh, Broadway construction south of the <coughs> water? Talking about the geo bottom? Yeah. Yes. Well, we've opened up the door flag over. Storm sewers in on the south portion of it. That's where the majority of the storm sewer is located. And it's on the east side. And we're actually in the process of building a roadway. We're headed south on 12th Street. And unless we just have an absorbent amount of inclement weather, we should finish that up hopefully by the end of June. 
and it will free up traffic considerably when we get that east side poured out because that's not truly a four lane roadway, that existing roadway, and that detour is pretty tight through there right now. But they're on schedule. Are you having to put storm sewer in on the other side of that road when they go in parallel? Well, most of us, the crossings are in. There's a little bit that will be added as we build the roadway, but it's minimal compared to what's been there up to date. Thank you. Anybody else? Um, yes, I think Mr. Edie, or you don't want to talk about that item that I was emailing you about today for a minute or two, or do you want to just tell them briefly what's about if they see it coming up? You can start and then I'll follow up. That sounds good. Um, you guys may not be aware, but there's been a group at some of the Norman high schools protesting or kind of picketing with some pretty graphic information. It's an anti-abortion group, but they've been right on the sidewalks at the schools <clears throat> showing pictures and handing leaflets out. Well, they've been at, in the Moore schools now too. So I tried to do some research and I contacted the Norman uh, city council because they are pursuing um, an ordinance to handle issues like that. And uh, so I got some information, good information, I think, and I gave it to Mr. Brink and Mr. Eady. Um, and it, I, this, the things that need to be stressed are that this is not about freedom of speech. It's about giving the children a place to uh, go to school in a, in a, in a safe environment. And um, it looks like it's been upheld by some uh, by, by courts. Um, and it seems pretty reasonable, but I'll let Mr. Eady talk about it. But that, that's what it's about. It's to keep groups from any group, no matter who they are, just from being right next to a school when kids are getting in and out of school so from what we understand it's a national organization anti-abortion group that has a norman or oklahoma chapter and i guess they've uh, been concentrating in norman on schools and on a, on a clinic down there of late you may have read in the paper recently or the news that the norman school board asked the city of norman if there's anything they could do or if, if there's an ordinance that could be passed to keep the protesters back some from the school. Um, Norman thinks they uh, have got some, um, a Supreme Court ruling, I believe, and some other court cases that may allow them to do it. They're still researching it, but what they're looking at is an ordinance that would prohibit these uh, people from being within 150 feet of the points of ingress and egress from a school. Um, and so um, I've got the information from Robert and the city of Norman that with what they're doing. Uh, we can kind of see what they do and, and follow something similar to that if that's what you desire, but um, it very well also could be challenged. I like the idea, Mr. E. I think it's a great idea, but um, if we did that, I mean, obviously it would only affect the schools in our city limits. And with the school district going outside our city limits, would it just kind of push these people to those schools? I mean, I would think that it would probably. I, I guess it would be possible, yeah. yeah. So I just, I, I don't yeah. know. I kind of hope that if Norman does this and we do it, and they feel pretty confident that it would um, withstand any, you know, challenge. Cause apparently they, they cited a couple of court cases and it's been held, but I would kind of hope that if Norman did it and we did it, Hopefully, kind of go up the, you know, the, the interstate there, and Oklahoma City might follow through and maybe do it too. I would hope. So, but I just, you know, it'd be nice to be able to keep groups like the cult that came out a few weeks ago, and and you know, groups that are kind of a uh, harassing and. You know, there's a lot of places you can protest. There's no reason to be right outside of school with little kids, you know. So. I talked to the. Are they required to have parents? Well, we actually had a, a uh, difference of opinion internally on that uh, today uh, with some of our um, folks. But um, the way the ordinance read it basically says they have to have a permit if they're um, interfering with the public's right to use the public property. Basically, if they're interfering with the right to use the sidewalk, basically. Um, a lot of cities don't re even require that kind of a permit. We use um, that permit process for the Westboro group, and we, they definitely interfere with the right to use the roadway, the sidewalk, and all that whenever there's all the counter protesters and so forth. 
there's some discussion as to whether just a couple of three or four folks out on the sidewalk would be interfering with your right to use a sidewalk but be that as it may that's what our current ordinance says if we do something like Norman is proposing then it would be a little firmer with regard to what they have to do and one thing you have to kind of keep in mind that you may not know is that th th these people know their rights better than any of us do they are actually wearing um, cameras and have microphones on them so as they're talking to police officers or anyone else it's completely filmed and they're posting all this on YouTube and so it's it's a pretty dicey deal and it's one of those deals you probably would rather not even have to deal with but you know it'd be nice to have a good solid ordinance out there that just handles it you know the position we're going to take now is that we're going to suggest to them if they come back that hey you need to go to city hall and get a permit our, our permitting process is if they come in and do it they can get a permit so it in the end it doesn't get get us anywhere other than we know who they are and when they might show up but other than that if if you want to look at something to what Norman is uh, doing or others may have tried to do we can do that but if they operate operate outside the, the limitations of that permit then they're in violation so they could be technically uh, could they not be arrested for that in terms of the and the our current ordinance or the proposed ordinance we would be talking the about ordinance. well they could be um, we don't really want to get into a big flap with this kind of with these kinds of folks we'd probably just tell them to move along um, and not arrest them but I understand. And, and, and that's the tough, the tough part is because they know to stand on the sidewalk and not block the way you walk, you know, where you're walking. You know, ask you if you want their, you know, flyer that has the picture of a, an aborted fetus on it, you know. I mean, it's, they, they know what they're doing, you know. What is the school policy on it? Well, the school policy is, like Mr. E.D. emailed me, um, they, they're not on the school property. They're on the sidewalk. Now, if they're on the school property, the school can take care of it and tell them to go away. But they're not on the school property. They're on the sidewalk. We just have to be very careful, and you mentioned it already, Robert, about what we do with regard to the message versus the actions that they take. Because we can't do anything that uh, prohibits them from their free speech rights. Uh, we, can, we perhaps can regulate where they do it at, perhaps. Uh, and maybe even when they do it but um, again it's a it's a fine line okay so we're gonna wait and see what Norman does otherwise well I mean you all do, tell do us they, what they, they want to do they actually, they actually have an ordinance written up that they're proposing they have all the research completed and so I don't know when they're gonna vote on it they're gonna talk about it I think we're well, by, uh, yeah I will email you what we got from Norman it's a it's a pretty well written thing by their city attorneys that talks about the case law um, and they had again they had proposed it to start with 150 feet all the way around the school boundaries but they thought that might be excessive in terms of if you look at the and I've got maps here of all of our high schools and junior highs if you want to look at them with 150 foot radius around them if you look at that on any given school that's a lot of area uh, to try to regulate or to deal with uh, and most of the time obviously it's going to be on the main roads at the entries to these schools, sure. so. Yeah, I went there. I, I did read what Norman uh, provided to us, and it seemed like it was. Yeah. We'll see how it goes with Norman for a couple of weeks. <laughs> I always like for somebody else to get seat first. <laughs> Well, we definitely would. I think we would want to do something similar to what they do if they take the lead on it, because it's been a problem for them for quite some time down there. That's why. Right. That's why. Okay. Yeah. No thanks. Yeah, we don't really want to get in the middle of that issue. I think we got enough troubles. Okay. Anything else? Anything else you see, manager? Uh, just one thing, Mayor, and that is um, if uh, if it's going to work with everybody or most everybody's schedule, we'd like to 
schedule a, a budget meeting or a meeting to talk about the NPWA budget specifically for next Monday night. Um, for me. Okay. Monday nights always seem to be pretty good, so. I'll be out of town, but don't let that stop. We'll update no, you. No, 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 yeah, keep me posted. <laughs> okay, way to go. Will that work for everybody else? Works for me. Yes. 6, 6.30. 6.30 is great. 6.30, then we'll do it next time. Okay. That's all I have from there. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Item number 12 is executive session. Section 307, Title 25, Oklahoma Statutes, permits the public body to meet an executive session for certain specified reasons under certain specified conditions. It is the opinion of the city attorney that the city council may consider and adopt a motion to meet in executive session to discuss the following items. Item A, discuss, consider, and if deemed appropriate, consider taking possible action regarding pending claim by Michael Atkinson against the city of Moore and authorization for legal counsel and staff to take action as necessary and appropriate in the interest of the city of Moore as authorized by 25 Oklahoma Statutes 307B-4. Do we have a motion? A motion to adjourn to executive session. All right. Second. Thank you. Thank you. We have a motion in, this, in a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Yes. Uh, yes. Robert. Yes. 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 We're in good. We're adjourned to executive session. Put that out in a second. Got two things for you. Two. Two. Yeah. Two. I didn't even no. bring one. Yeah. Yeah.
like almost yes. a national nerd bot. I mean, he's a he's a good solid dude. But he's looking for it and specifically asked. And I said, well, I'll check and see. We didn't do it last year, but. Yeah. Would you call the robot? Yeah. Oh, he's dependable. Present. Present. Here. 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 Do we have a motion on the agenda item? I'll make a motion that staff proceeds as directed. All right. A second. Thank you. We have a motion and a second. Would you call for the vote, please? Yes. 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 Item 13 is adjourned. So moved. Thank you. Second. Thank you. Any other discussion? If not, please call for what? Yes. 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 We're adjourned. Thank you for coming. Uh, but in the time, I, I, I know I can get another one. Somebody here is going to have to vote.